Just north of Greenville on Paris Mountain, near the summit, and just off Altamont Road is one of the upstate's newest pottery studios. It opened in January 2020, just before COVID-19 swept the world. It's called Oz Pottery. I'm Jeff Goodman. It didn't take a lot of brains to open a pottery studio on the eve of a pandemic. Maybe it was bad luck, but it did take courage to keep the doors open. And a lot of heart to keep throwing pots despite all the craft fairs and festivals canceling. I invite you to come on up Paris Mountain to our Emerald City and Oz Pottery. It's called Oz Pottery, but you won't find the wizard here. As you may remember, he keeps a low profile hiding behind curtains and things. You may notice that I throw from a mostly vertical position. That's to prevent back issues that potters are often prone to. This is a short video, so I'll just do a short demonstration of what I do here at Oz Pottery. After a few days of slow drying and trimming, this bowl is ready for the kiln. And this is Dorothy. She does most of our firing here at present. The first firing is called a bisque fire, and it takes the greenware, or dried clay, to a state of stoneware. That will get up to about 1900 degrees and takes a full day from putting the pots in to taking them out. Dorothy will also be the kiln in which we do the glaze firing. This is the glaze kitchen. I mix nearly all my glazes on site here. It's also the mini studio where I photograph all of my completed work. I'm about out of time for my video here, but I'll be glad to tell you more when you come for a tour during open studios. It's like Dorothy says, there's no place like Oz Potter. <laughs>